What about Java? It's on six and a half billion devices. It's on uh, 2.6 billion mobile phones. Uh, about a billion PCs, 90% of the PCs out there run Java. And with the new Java FX technology, it's been downloaded to, uh, as a new scripting environment, it's been downloaded over 100 million times. Will Oracle be good for Java? And who better to answer that question than the father of Java, James Gosling. So James, could you join me on stage, please? Oh, hi, Scott. Hi. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, the, 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 the you know, is Oracle good for Java? I mean, it's, it, you know, it's sort of like, like, like the, the, the old joke about the, the plate of ham and eggs, right? The, 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 the chicken is involved, but the pig is committed. And, you know, when you look at, 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 pro, at Oracle's product mix, they're committed. I mean, you know, their, their fastest growing products are all big bags of Java code. Um, you know, it's, and, and over the years, Oracle has been great contributors to the, to, to the whole process. Most people use Java each and every day. And behind a lot of these Java apps are big bags of Oracle code. And it's been pretty wonderful. So you're actually pretty excited about the world's number one software company putting all of their wood behind the Java arrowhead here. Um, absolutely, and, and you know, for me, I've never worked for a software company, so um, it'll be an adventure. <laughs> there you go, man. Thanks. All right, thanks. thanks